Hey guys, welcome back. Today we'll do a quick show and tell of my Arduino kit and some provisions for electronics projects. Hey guys, welcome back. Glad you could join me today. Today I figured I'd go through my Arduino projects items that I have, my sort of ultimate Arduino kit really really happy with this now that I have a lot of items that I can rapidly prototype and just build the things I want to build with uh, all the knowledge that's out there on YouTube and Google provides uh, we can build just about anything so I thought I'd uh, thought I'd go through some of my items here and I have a request I if you enjoy this type of uh, video or if you get some ideas from it, could you do a video response and show me your Arduino kit and your project items? I, I get all kinds of neat ideas from, from watching uh, the videos out there from subscribers like for you. Anyway, uh, first off a tip, it's pretty much impossible to have too many breadboards. I have learned that there is never enough of these things. I have multiple projects on the go. There's one hooked to my in-move arm. This is an APU project that I'm about to tear down, but once you get them all out on the breadboard and working, unless you're transferring them to a PCB, it's uh, heartbreaking to tear them down. So it's really tempting just to leave them on the boards. Anyway, let's have a look at the kit. So this is my Arduino box of goodies. This allows me uh, kind of a one-stop shop for whatever I'm making at the time. This does not include items such as uh, diodes and resistors and transistors. All of that is on shelves uh, on both sides of the workshop and up above. So this is strictly just Arduino. Um, this is how I lay mine out. I'm, I have no idea how other people do it or whether they keep it in a traveling container, but it works good for me this way. I could take it somewhere and prototype elsewhere if I wanted, but in this compartment I have the Arduinos themselves. This is sort of my power supply area. This is uh, just kind of random and some specific cabling. Uh, in here I have my actuators and servos. In here is the, the smaller level components. LC and output devices mainly here. Um, specific, uh, well, a little bit of everything in here. And this is where I keep, uh, I've got a, a prototyping board here for the Nano, but normally I just keep my jumpers in here. So let's, uh, let's have a look at a few things. So out of this corner, the kind of Arduino corner, I've got a couple of lithium polymer battery monitors. These things are just a couple bucks. Uh, I have a Pro Mini and an FTDI. And it looks like I have five Pro Minis ready to go, new in the bags. I have uh, three of the Nanos, love these things, uh, great, great board, so are the Pro Minis. Uh, one Bluetooth module, looks like uh, this is one I was playing with the other day in my last video, and uh, a distance sensor. In the sort of power supply box here, I keep, I've got a, one of the Uno cases I printed on my Solidoodle, Solidoodle printer. I keep a Motorola power, cell phone power supply, it works great to power the boards. Uh, various USB cables that will hook to the different boards. And some of the battery pack holders that come with the uh, starter kits that I got. Including one for a 9 volt. And I've got three lithium polymer 7.4 volt 1 amp hour batteries. Uh, these things are my favorite for powering projects for Arduino. I just love these things and uh, they work pretty good. So, no complaints. Back corner over here, I keep my female to female cables. Uh, these are really handy for the uh, mega board that I have on my rover when I want to quickly hook up something else. Various other ones. And I've got my package of SD card readers. I bought a lump, lump sum of these things and uh, I just haven't had them broke out to put elsewhere yet. My servo slash output bin, I have these tiny 2.5 gram servos. These things are really great for the flight sim projects. As you can see, they're not much bigger than my thumb. I want to go ultra tiny. I haven't used these yet. These are tiny little stepper motors. They're from uh, camera. Uh, focus mechanisms, I believe. Got these on eBay as well. They were 
really cheap price and I'm thinking these will be pretty handy really easy to drive from the Arduino uh, I've got one hobby grade Traxxas servo I've got a stepper motor from one of the starter kits I've got all kinds of these in my junk bin too out of various old drives and whatnot and a bunch of servo horns for whatever I need to hook up to these are all from my display section I have quite a few of these it seems that every starter kit or lump sum kit I ended up with more displays so I've got all kinds of seven segment displays uh, arrays these are my Nokia 5110 LCDs that I use in just about every project now love these things incredible display for the price I have a touch screen display I haven't interfaced yet due to the drivers and some confusion stuff uh, I've also got some relay stuffed into this section I have multiple uh, relay boards uh, those are going to be for some home automation projects I've got on the go. Actually, I have multiple other boards built right now, and they're just not video worthy yet. A couple of them are using these uh, relay boards. I have some voice recorder modules. Looks like I've got a couple of those. I have a project in mind for these. These things were ultra cheap on eBay. I don't know whether they're going to suit what I need, but we'll give them a try and some various other LCD display modules. This one came with the Sane Smart kit. Uh, not much on that. This one came with one of my other kits and it's got the daughter board and the FTDI or um, I2C on board on the back. Pretty cool. This is a nice little display unit. So I'll definitely use that in an upcoming project. So this is the various sensors and input output devices being uh, quite a pile in here. I've got Ethernet board, another relay module, a joystick module. I actually have a project I need this for coming up. Uh, a couple of more Bluetooth modules. Uh, this looks like a microphone, a tilt sensor, touch sensor, the uh, RFID kind of kit of sorts with some cards and a reader. Uh, what have I got here? I don't know what this. Oh, it's a Wii nunchuck adapter. So I haven't. I have a project in mind for that too. Uh, barometric pressure sensor. It's an Adafruit one. I don't even remember ordering that. I've got four real-time clock modules. These uh, have multiple projects that need these, um, particularly my data logger project, the ultra cheap DAC. And speaking of that, I have multiple of these piezo sensors. I've got them in kind of a little case here. But this is a this is what I use for um, the transducers for the data logger, and these are placed in a 3D printed disc and uh, with a magnet held right onto the side of the mechanical equipment I need to measure. Works pretty good so far. Uh, another distance sensor. I've got a whole bunch of these in other drawers. I bought a uh, lump sum of these rotary encoders. Great deal on eBay. Worked perfect. And a stepper motor driver. I don't know what kit came with this, but I haven't used this style before. Pretty neat. It's got LEDs on it. So this is the various bin sort of in the middle of my kit. This is a lot of the items that come in the cheap starter kits I bought initially for spare parts and to get going. I leave them, I don't touch a lot of them, so here's some of the resistors. What I do is I use my bulk supply off camera, my, my drawers and drawers full of these things, and I leave these alone because these are the common ones that I would need if I decided to take this kit elsewhere and build something if I was away from home or whatever, for whatever reason. I have the, the common stuff available here. So I won't even go into this bag. This was a complete starter kit. I have no idea where I got this, but it's got LEDs and see some caps and uh, all kinds of pot and battery connection, all kinds of nifty things. Um, I've got some potentiometers, uh, NPN transistors. I have a buttload of these. Um, I've got some push buttons, LEDs. I have. 5 volt buzzers, dip switches, uh, tactile switches in here. I have, there's an RGB LED in there. I wish I would have got more of these. This came with the Sane Smart kit. That's a nice little LED. That'll be handy. 
uh, some buzzers and a pot. In here is some uh, IR LED receivers, uh, tactile switches, photo cells, and it uh, looks like uh, one or two tilt sensors. Yep, you can actually, they look like caps, but they're actually tilt sensors. So, pretty cool. A couple of remotes, and that's about that. I won't go through the last bin of all the jumper wires. Can't have too many of those either, people. Those are great. Well, that is the extent of my Arduino electronics kit, not including uh, all the other silly components I have. This is my go-to box when I need to make a new project. I'd be really interested in seeing how you guys organize your equipment and uh, your Arduino projects and what kind of nifty toys you have. Whatever I'm missing, just throw a shout out, throw it in the comments. And uh, If you would, throw up a video. Throw it as a video response down below. I'd love to see your kits. Anyway, thanks for watching.